for this collaboration what we've done is we've all picked classic Disney characters and we've done their makeup as how they would look if they were people in real life so after this video you should have a fair amount of tutorials that you can get through after this one. First thing I'm going to do is take my favourite BB cream and a kabuki brush and I'm just going to apply the BB cream straight to the brush and then apply it to my face where I need it and then gradually bit by bit I'm going to start building it up. The next BB cream that I'm going to be using is one that I really don't use enough in my videos. I absolutely love this one. And what it really is, it's just a kind of concealer BB cream. It's a lot heavier than the normal BB cream I use, and so it's perfect for covering things like redness and spots, and anything which just needs a little bit more coverage. So I'm just going to use it on the outer corner of the eye, and then using a brush, I'm going to bring it a little bit, just on the brow bone, just to try and cover up any of the veins that I have showing through the skin, but I'm not going to put it on the actual lid of my eye and then I'm going to use it a little bit in the inner corner of the eye just to cover my dark circles. And next thing I'm going to do is take my hands and press it all over my face and the reason I like doing this is because if you're wearing a BB cream or a foundation it just helps it melt into your skin a little bit more and the heat just gets it to look a lot more realistic. Next I'm going to contour just a little bit and the main thing I'm going to try and emphasise is the cheekbones but blend it out a lot and then also my jawline. The blush I'm going to be using a corally peach shade and I'm going to be applying this just slightly off the apples of the cheek and then blending up all the way along the cheekbones. Now to fill in my eyebrows I really do like using just plain black eyeshadow. The main thing to be really careful with when you're using black eyeshadow is never go straight from the pan to your eyebrows. Always dust it off a little bit on the back of your hand and then gradually bit by bit work it into your brows. Otherwise it's going to look really thick and harsh and that's not really the aim of it. I'm going to apply a primer all over the lid as usual and for the eyes I'm not going to be using an eyeshadow. I'm actually going to be using a mix of both the colours that I used previously for contour and blush and mix them together a little bit. And I'm going to apply this all over the lid. The main thing to do is to bring the colour up a lot, especially in the inner corner of the eye and then blend it out. Taking the same black eyeshadow that I used to fill my eyebrows, I'm just going to be taking a nail up brush. I'm going to line this as close to my lashes as possible, but you have to make sure that you line it a little bit thicker on the outer corner just to give the illusion of thicker lashes. Whatever's left on the brush at this point, I'm going to use to line the lower lashes. And the easiest way to do this is just to get a mirror and to look straight up at it and then slowly work it into the lashes. After you've lined the lower lid, I'm going to be taking a white eyeliner and I'm just going to line the waterline. You're also going to apply this a little bit in the inner corner of the eye and blend it out. But the main thing is just to line the waterline. Once you've done this with the same white eyeliner, I'm going to apply this just underneath the arch of the brow. And I'm going to apply it quite roughly and then afterwards I'm just going to blend it out with my finger. But you can use the brush if you want to. I'm going to be using two full slashes. I'm going to cut both of them in half and use them just on the outer corner of the eye to give it a bit of a flick and then a full set on the upper lid just to make them look a little bit more natural and full. The lips, I'm not going to go for lipstick. I want to go for something very natural and wearable so I'm going to be using a lip tint and I'm going to be applying two coats all over the lip and then with the third coat I'm just going to focus this on the centre of the lips to give a bit of gradient. Once you've finished with this, just finish off with a tinted lip balm or an ordinary lip balm. And that's it. We're done.